Okay, so this is a continuation of our video here. So as you see, there is a broken dialyzer. Well, I did it by purpose. I want to see the inside part, okay? And I saw there's a lot of fibers, but I use my gloves, of course. And you see thousands and thousands of fibers, okay? There's a lot. And this is the unused one. It's still sterile. And this is the cross-section of this uh, dialyzer. And there's a lot of fiber. I drew it with some good spacing just for demo. And on top, we have three individual fibers. And around this fiber, we have a membrane. So what do you see inside the fiber? That's where blood is, okay? So the blood is inside each fiber, okay? So blood is inside the fiber. And outside the fiber is our dialysate. And the blood and the dialysate are separated by a membrane. Okay, that's it. So the inside of the blood is uh, positive pressure, and then outside the blood is negative pressure. So inside the blood or inside the fiber, we have the blood, and that blood has positive pressure, and the dialysate has negative pressure. So the fiber, we have a membrane here that separates the blood from the dialysate. Okay. So there are processes involved in here to make this dialyzer work. Number one, ultrafiltration. The ultrafiltration has, this ultrafiltration has transmembrane pressure. So it should be within acceptable range. And that is set up by the, um, you know, training people from the hemodialysis uh, unit. So ultrafiltration will remove excess fluid from the blood to the dialysate. And next we have diffusion. Diffusion will remove excess solutes from the blood to the dialysate until there is equilibrium. Okay, so ultrafiltration refers to fluid removal. Diffusion it refers to solute removal. Okay, so ultrafiltration, we have the gradient there. So we have transmembrane pressure gradient and then the diffusion, usually there's a gradient as well. So that is the um, solute removal. So the pressure inside the blood is positive pressure and the pressure within the dialysis is negative pressure. Okay, if your transmembrane pressure is too low or it's too high, then ultrafiltration will not be effective. So something has to be done. Okay, so higher transmembrane pressure, if they're very, very high, there could be clogging up happening. Okay, those things have to be corrected. Okay, on my left part here, we have an example of permacast catheter. So this is a real permacast catheter and they will choose the best site to put in Okay, so whatever vein they like, you know, they will decide on that. And then here at the end, you see that there's a little bump in here. This is inside the skin. So this catheter might, this is probably a stopper. So it will not allow the, the catheter to come out. So this will get into the skin. So this is just under this, this uh, insertion is just underneath the skin here. Okay, and we have a two limb here, a dual lumen. Okay, the arterial, the arterial and the venous. Okay, so that's about it. And then it happened that I used the product of Baxter here, AK98. Well, I am not also advertising here, but I use a product at least to, you know, to impart some information. I'm just sharing, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing information about home hemodialysis and I know you know more than I do, but this is just sharing the experience. Okay, that's AK98. Okay, so we use a model to demonstrate, we use a model to accompany our sharing of information. Okay, and we are not advertising. Okay, it just so happened, but I need one to, you know, to accompany my sharing of information. Okay, and I bet this is the last part of my dialysis uh, videos. And if you think they are helpful to you, if you think they're fine, you're free to press like, share, and subscribe. And again, I am preparing myself to have this transplant because there are many things that I have to cover. But I'll make it brief, something that is very useful for people to save their kidneys once they have their kidneys, you know, their donor kidneys, they have to take care of it because going back to dialysis is very laborious. It's not an easy job to do. Okay, guys, and thank you so much and have a nice day. Okay.